Board Games 4K. Hello, this is part 10 of our complete run through of our entire board gaming collection. And if you're not bored by now, then you probably will be after the next 50 episodes. No, it's not really going to be 50 episodes, is there? It's probably going to be about two or three more. Maybe, I don't know. Who knows? But um, yeah, so uh, yeah, let's crack on with this. With this. It's not a list, is it? It's, uh, it's just a load of nonsense. So let's crack on with the nonsense. So up here we've got Ink and Gold. This is a sort of a push your luck game where you're going to be deciding whether or not you're going to be going into the temple or coming out of the temple with a load of gold and whoever's got the most gold at the end is the winner. And there's going to be threats and hazards and stuff that you've got to avoid. And it's an absolute classic. Plays up to about eight people, I think. And it's a wonderful, wonderful game. So here we've got Cutthroat Caverns. This is a it's sort of like Cosmic Encounter. So you'll be playing these sort of uh, these cards that do hits to monsters. But the thing about this is that only the player who deals the killing blow gets a point. So you'll be sort of, uh, I don't know, trying to stitch each other up, trying to get each other, everyone else to play the best cards in their hands. So you can come along at the end and uh, you know, mop up. So it's a wonderful game. It's a good backstabbing game and we love it. So uh, Land Alton, this is a very small card game. And I'll tell you what, we haven't played this for quite a number of years. We played this on a train coming back from some crappy board game cafe in London called Drafts which stank of piss and wind. And uh, yeah, we don't remember what it's about because it's tainted with the smell of some horrible hackney beer that tasted like wee. But um, yeah, so we've got Citadels. This is a, is it Bruno Feduti or Kafala? I can't remember, one of the two. This is a hidden roll game, so you'll each be selecting a hidden roll. Uh, activating the rolls in order and you'll be trying to get uh, money to build buildings and blah, 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 blah. And it's, uh, it's a bit dated, but it's still a wonderful game even today so uh then we've got uh jazz the singing card game this is a sort of a memory game where you'll be playing cards with different things like boop skiddly bop bop boop bop beep and uh, you'll be trying to remember what you've played and what the other people have played and you'll be recounting them back from memory in sequence until somebody screws up and it's quite funny it's very basic it's very light and it's uh, just a load of nonsense so we've got rhino hero it's so a stacking game you'll be playing cards putting uh roofs on these uh levels of this skyscraper moving rhino hero up trying not to make the uh tower fall and it's uh it's a good laugh uh port royal we don't know we haven't played it we bought it because that sounded good but we never got around to playing it so that's that so uh, one night on werewolf this is a bluffing party sort of deduction game where it's werewolf but played over one night and you've got a some people are werewolves so you've got to find out who the werewolves are and avoid getting killed so uh, yeah it's pretty good like it nice uh for sale a stefan dora classic you'll be uh buying up all these properties for peanuts or quite a lot of money and then you'll be flogging them for loads of money or peanuts and it's absolutely fantastic so for sale has it got a reprint don't know but it plays out of six it's quick it's simple and it's super uh don't actually know what this one is it's uh something we picked up i don't know it's something i don't know where it came from I don't know, know, know nothing about it, don't know what it's called, extreme something or other, extreme fighting system or something, don't know, bang, you know what, we've never played this game either, so we don't know about bang, so Bonanza, what's this, this is the German version of a card game that we've already talked about, so I don't know why we've got the German version, but we have, uh, Saboteur, never played it, don't know what that is, um, is this Honorium, this is a single player solo game, that isn't too bad. It's uh, a bit boring actually, but it's still, when you're on your own and you're lonely, then it's not a bad game to play on your own. So um, what's this? Uh, Goblin's Draw, Fairy's Rule. This is a silly card game where you'll be sort of playing different cards, fairies or goblins, and getting different types of points based on the sequence of cards that you play. I think that's what I remember. I can't really remember. Anyway, Condotier. This is a quite a good game. It uh, comes in a tiny little box, but with a tiny little board. And you'll be trying to play sets of cards, trying to move the pieces around the board. And I can't really remember much about it because we haven't played it. We played it in a pub a long time ago and uh, the board snaps in half. So, um, yeah, I can't remember. Uh, no thanks. Hang on, let's go inside the, the light. Into the light. So, uh, no thanks. This is a sort of a quite a nice sort of bluffing, backstabbing game. You'll be uh, trying to get the, is it the lowest ranked cards or the highest ranked cards and you'll be getting these tokens to say that you don't want to take any other cards but uh yeah it's it's quite good uh dude we've done a run through of this have we done a run through no, we've done a review of this one and this is a very small card game in the vein of happy salmon it's not too bad it's not too good it's just an average 
run of the mill uh, card game that runs at Steam very quickly. Lost City is probably the best two player game ever made by Rona Kanichia. No, no need to talk about this one. We've done a playthrough and a review of this. So go and have a look at that. The Resistance, this is a fantastic social deduction game. Um, one, some players are the resistance, some players are the corporation and you don't know who is who and you'll be playing through a series of rounds trying to stitch up and bluff your way through the game. So uh, Biblios, if you can see it, Biblios, whoa. Biblios, that's Bib there's Biblios. This is a sort of an auction uh, game. Uh, it's very abstract. So you'll be, uh, two rounds of the game, you'll be sort of uh, selecting cards uh, putting some in the discard pile and then you'll be auctioning off the discard pile and uh, all the cards do different things and it's uh, pretty good it's uh, it's very small very light very basic and the bibliosis is quite good so coup this is not the noise that pigeons make but it's sort of similar to the resistance and you've got these rolls and um, but nobody knows who is who and you'll be getting money to take actions and doing various different things there's an expansion for the resistance this is insider we haven't played it we don't know we can't talk about it so welcome to the dungeon everyone takes a roll you'll be putting out these cards and beasties you'll be saying taking a card or not and then one person will be left when everyone passes and they'll have to make their way through the dungeon and they'll either destroy the monsters or die so it's pretty good it's pretty good and uh, this is called crossing um god we've played this once it's a sort of a game where you point at things and then i can't actually remember it's, a, it's french it's a french game and i can't really remember here we got all of the arkham horror stuff so every single little bit and we got them in the boxes there i uh, love arkham horror card game all the scenarios blah 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 blah. so down here we got cards against humanity you know it's all about that's love it or hate it it's there it's here to stay it's very popular and that's that so we got boggle this is a word game where you've got all these dice with different letters on and you'll jumble them all up in this sort of this case and then you'll be trying to make as many words as possible out of what you've got so we got osric this is a basically a an old school Dungeons and Dragons reprint type thing, it's just a you know, just a basic reprint. And let's don't don't talk about that. Uh, all some more Arkham Horror card games, the other uh, big box of deluxe edition scenarios. We've got all the time stories uh, scenarios here, including the little tiny one down there. And we'll see if we can get up into this bit here before we stop this one. So we've got what we got. We got uh, Twilight Imperium Fourth Edition, the Grand Magnum Opus, probably the best space game ever made. And uh, we love it, but we can't get it to the table as much as we would hope to because it's so big, so grandiose, which is a real shame. And uh, what else we got here? I can't see. Um, uh, AD and D first edition. Um, yeah, so the one with the nicer artwork than the original edition. And we love AD and D. So this is the thing that started all off for us. We've got Ave Caesar. This is one of our favourite racing games of all time. Take control of a chariot. We uh, play, you've got a deck of cards, you'll be playing cards from your hand, moving your chariot so many spaces forward but the the thing about this one is if you were out in front you cannot play it at six so at least in one of the so one of the uh laps you have to go and visit caesar and chuck a coin at him and we love it it's a really good game this is uh, sort of a bit similar to um uh, flam rouge flam rouge did sort of rip this off but uh yeah both games are quite good in their own right so we've got luna this is a uh, stefan feld game we've not played it we don't know what it is, so uh, we can't talk about it. Uh, Skull and Rose is another version of that. So uh, yeah, we talked about that already. Over here, we've got the Quacks of Quedlinburg. This one, the Spiel des Jahres in 2018. Sort of a bag building game. We do quite like it. There's an expansion that we haven't got. And uh, yeah, it's definitely one of the games that you should check out. It's flown under the radar recently. So it's Downforce is a racing game. You're a bit of betting involved. It's a Rob Davio thing where they've brought a game back from the dead in the restoration game series. And it's actually quite good. We do quite like it. So Dark Moon, this is a reprint. Excuse me, my family are um, making loads of noise. But um, this is Dark Moon. This is a reprint of that Battlestar Galactica Express game that we were talking about. We haven't played it as part of Dark Moon. We have got the uh, Corporation expansion in here. But I don't know. We've got so many games we can't play them all, can we? So um, Lords of it. we haven't played this one either. Don't know much about it. Yeah, it's maybe a lot of poo, but we picked it up in the works for about five quid, I think. And uh, yeah, whatever. So uh, this is uh, the Mutiny, uh, 
the fourth edition of Carter Hayna, I think it is the mutiny. You'll be selecting a pirate role and then you'll be getting certain resources and then you'll be flying out on a deck of a ship between two sides. So it's essentially a two player game and it's pretty good. So we've got level seven Amiga protocol. We tried to play this, the rule book sucks, we gave up and uh, the, the miniatures are poo. But we do believe that the game is actually quite good. It's just, it's just got a reprint on Kickstarter and um, we didn't back it because we haven't played this one yet. We tried to get the expansion for this but uh, we didn't bother because we've had it for years and years and years and never played it because the rule book is so diabolical. So Legends of Andor, all three bits for this. We've got all the expansions in here apart from the Dark Heroes which hasn't been released in English yet has it? Maybe it has, I don't know. But um, this is okay. It gets criticised because it's uh, sort of replayability. Once you've been through all the Legends then it sort of dies off. But uh, yeah we quite enjoy Leg Legends of Andor. It's got so much content in the box that uh, you can't really fault it. And if you don't know what it is, it's definitely worth a look. Worth a look. It won the Kenner Spiel des Jahres back in, God, I don't know, when was it, 2014? Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, down here, you have to bear with us. You have to zoom in here, because I don't know, can we get in here? Do I mention this is a sort of an abstract stacking game where you've got these cards telling you how to stack these little balls. Fantastic game, we love it, it's fantastic. And uh, yeah, there you go. So uh, if you, I don't know if you can see through there, this is uh, Chaos in the Old World. It was out, it's out of print because of the rift between Games Workshop and um, Fantasy Flight. But we bought the German version and we printed out all the English cards from some Russian website and we sleeved them and chucked them in and it works very very well so uh what's that, what's that one imatep can you see that imatep this is a game where you are sort of an, well, it's an abstract game isn't it you got you'd be taking these ships moving them to different locations on these tiles and taking various actions and uh there's sort of basically like little mini game type things involved in this one we really quite like this one we haven't got the expansion and uh, imatep is actually quite a novel quick simple game so uh, yeah so uh yeah game of thrones the board game this is, is a sort of it's a bit of a beast a bit of a bloated beast a bit out of date now uh, they've released an expansion for this uh, mother of dragons it didn't really work very well they should have just released a third edition with all that content in and um yeah it's too long too bloated and it does my head in but we still quite like it so um yeah uh, rum and bones uh, first and second tide whatever um, yeah, we got, is it all the content in there? We didn't back the Kickstarter, but um, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff in here. It's, it's, it's really massive, but it's still quite a good game. It's essentially a two-player game, and we do like a bit of rum and bone. So um, uh, this is Burgle Brothers. This is sort of like, uh, is it like Pandemic? Well, you'll be running around this this sort of, uh, you'll be trying to, you're running around this building, trying to avoid the, the, the guards, trying to, um, uh, take you have it's like a heist thing where you'll be trying to nick these jewels trying to avoid all these traps uh go up these three levels and get out alive so it's okay it's uh it's not the greatest game in the world we did back it on kickstarter but we were a little bit disappointed our compatibility this is an old um an old old game from the 80s and uh you've got these pictures and you'll be trying you, you split off into pairs and you'll be trying to match cards based on some phrase or some word so yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It does cause a little bit of a laugh when you do match, but it's very, very dated. But we bought it for a laugh and we have had a laugh with it. So this is The Extraordinary Adventures of Baron Munchausen. It's a storytelling game. It's a bit vague. It's a, really, you could get the rules in it on a page, but for some reason, they've um, stuck it all in a book. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a classic game, um, but we, we're not, you need the right people to play it. So um, we'll do one more. This is CO2, this is the first edition of Fatal Lacerda's sort of, uh, I don't know, environmental doom game. Uh, we've not played it, I uh, don't know why, but um, we just haven't, so there you go. Masmora, this is, the game itself is crap, but we did buy it for the uh, Arcadia Quest crossover miniatures. Uh, we've dumped everything out of this box and dumped it in Arcadia Quest, and uh, that's why we've got it on our shelf. Uh, the game itself is a load of crap. So uh, Carnival Zombie, this is a quite an interesting tower defense game that sees you take control of these kind of weird characters, like some, some one's called Captain Terror, one's called Pantelione, and um, what's it called, so Lady Columbine, I mean, for goodness sake. But you'll be uh, trying to survive these waves of zombies, then regrouping, going around the streets of Venice, and it's basically 
sort of left for dead the ball game, right? So yeah, it's a fantastic game. I think it's, has it got a reprint on Kickstarter or maybe it's going to get a reprint on Kickstarter soon. So uh, Rana Kanich is with a circle. This is a horse racing game that lets you bet on different horses and uh, take gambles and stuff and you'll be rolling a die and you'll be moving a certain horse dependent on what you roll. So yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. We love a bit of winner's circle. One of the underrated racing gems, betting gems that you can find and we love it. So uh, here we've got all of the advanced fighting fantasy books to date, uh, all of the everything to do with advanced fighting fantasy role playing game. We love this. It's uh, absolutely classic. It's yeah, enough said about that. So um, yeah, we got a video. We got a video series, a seventeen part series about everything to do with fighting fantasy role, role playing games and book, game books and all that. So go check that out. So a stockpile. Done a playthrough and a review of this. This is a game where you will be manipulating the stockpile. Funny old thing, and uh, you'll be uh, investing in different companies. Uh, with some a certain type of insider knowledge and uh, everyone's got some sort of hidden knowledge, hidden knowledge and some public knowledge and be making evaluations on the stock market and placing your bets accordingly and we love this game it's very very simple to play and it's very quick and we love it airlines europe game by alan r moon the guy who did tickets to ride we haven't played it so we can't tell you what it is and uh yeah there you go so paolo mori's ethnos one of the best area control games and uh sort of a faction based games that you could buy it sort of did it make a buzz it made it sort of a small splash but then disappeared into the nether regions and it it's aching for an expansion we really really hope this gets an expansion it's a couple of years old now and um yeah that's ethnos so we're gonna stop in maybe tomorrow in the next couple of days i'm sorry i'm sorry that the camera was a bit fuzzy there but we we, we couldn't be asked to move the light because we're lazy like that but um yeah so we're gonna I'm going to come back and we've got we've got some a few more bits there we've got some stuff on the floor and then hopefully we'll put you out your misery and this series will be over because i know that you are compelled to watch me waffle on about bollocks right so we'll see you next time